star-crossed lover. It's no secret that the COVID-19 pandemic has really hit the performing arts sector very, very hard. And um, we sort of had a choice to either do nothing or to try and do what we can. So we decided that we would partner with Abrams and Mayer Productions um, in bringing a new piece to life. It's very rare in South Africa that you get to develop a brand new musical and for this one we decided to do it in different phases or stages. Uh, we first worked on the text and the score, we then had a staged reading and now we are at the place where we are recording a concept album which is very exciting and we get to hear the full score and hear the, the story in, in context. I think it's one of the most incredible shows I've ever done most beautiful singing that I've ever been able to do. Um, the songs feel natural, I mean that's all the technical side of it, but the actual story of it, it's all about a woman called Elizabeth Clara who I have the privilege of playing. Um, she's a little bit crazy, um, in my humble opinion, but I suppose that works for me. Uh, she falls in love in our show with what she recalls an alien, who is actually a wonderful man known as Billy in our show. And the whole story is really just her trying to admit that she loves the man that she loves and not some made-up fairy tale. I play the role of Billy. He's a young journalist and, you know, he's very passionate about change coming about in South Africa. And I think it's quite challenging, you know, especially if you look at the time that the character like this um, would have been so politically minded. You risked life and limb, you know, by putting yourself out there in that kind of regard. But I, yeah, I think this character from where I place him into kind of my narrative, I think that they grew up together on this sprawling farm, you know, in Rosetta's Hills in the beautiful Natal Midlands. And they were like most kids, you know, they didn't see colour and they played together and they formed this incredible relationship together. But um, obviously because of the political climate in South Africa at the time, their love story just was not meant to be. A lot of the music in, in Starcrust is very much influenced by the Impressionists but at the same time to try and keep it current I'm also influenced by contemporary musical theatre writers such as um, Jason Robert Brown, Adam Ghetto um, they are very much part of my vocabulary.